I'm going to be reading from Acts chapter 10, verse 1 through 3. This is something I've been studying the past few days is to get closer to God. And last Sunday, this just confirms what I had been feeling in my heart was when my pastor, Brother Rainer, had preached on staying out of the world because, you know, when you try to get close to God, the only, like he said last night, the only reason that it hurts is because there's things that we're doing in our lives that our flesh don't like. So when you're trying to give up the worldly things, your flesh is going to cause problems for you because that's, we don't live by the flesh. We live by God. God designed us to serve him, to worship him, and to, you know, pray and get to know him daily. So this is something that, and you'll have to excuse me because this is the first video I've done in a long time like this, but it's just something I feel. But Acts chapter 10, verse 1 through 3 says, There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian band, a devout man and one that feared God with all his house, which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God always. He saw a vision evidently about the ninth hour of the day, an angel of God coming to him and saying to him, Cornelius. Cornelius was, a, was known to be devout and a God-fearing man. He had not taken the required right to circumcision, but he practiced other elements like a Jew, which was praying and go, you know going to church at a synagogue. Cornelius was a genuine God-seeker. He practiced a set time of prayer daily after the Jewish tradition of praying three times a day okay Cornelius prayed to God on a regular basis so this man was dedicated to his life and he wanted to get closer to God and he didn't care what people thought the ninth hour which was 3 p.m. was the final hour of prayer for the for the day and it was at that moment when God sent an angel to speak to Cornelius now because Cornelius was so dedicated this is what I want to know. And this is something, you know, not just speaking to whoever watches this, but to myself as well, because I'm trying to get closer to God. And this, you know, this is something that really touched me. What could I do to begin to maintain or maintain a set time of prayer? Is there a certain time of day that you could set aside to pray? Is there something that you could maybe, you know, make room for to make that time for prayer? If you don't pray, schedule that time because the more you pray and the more you seek after God, the more God's going to start seeing you in your heart. God sees the inward part. He sees your heart for what your heart is. So he knows what you what you want in your life before you even speak it and make it known into existence. Um, what changes could I make in my life to make space for prayer? Is there something you could remove and put prayer in its place? Um, for example, uh, my kids like technology. They like to play games. They like to do anything on their phones that requires gaming and stuff like that. So if, for example, if my son decides to say, Hey, Dad, or Hey, Mom, I'm going to take away my games off my phone and I'm going to make that time for my prayer time that's when God sees the heart he knows that my son is trying and he's wanting to get closer so God's gonna hear that you know God sees things that we don't you know so if he knows that in our hearts we're sincere about getting close to him he'll reward us later for that what challenges might I expect of course, there's going to be things that when you start to get closer to God, there's going to be challenges that arise. Things are going to come against you and you're, the devil's going to make you think, well, hey, it's not worth it. You know, Don't start praying because this is going to happen. Don't go to church because this might happen. The thing about it is, is the enemy's meant to be on this earth to cause problems for us. He's meant to distract us and keep us from going to church. He's meant to keep us from maintaining a, a regular prayer life because the more we pray, the more we get closer to God. And the more we get closer to God, the more the devil doesn't like it. And that's what his job is to do, is to keep that from happening. When God uses us, it's when we're close to him is when he'll use us the most. And... This is just something I felt to share because 
in the past couple of weeks, I have felt really strong about getting closer to God. And I've looked at my life in a way that what can I take away from my life to make room for more of God? And I hope this helps somebody. I hope you set aside a time to pray, to get closer to God. And if you're struggling with anything, make it known to God because He's never not listening. He's always listening. And as long as you have a, you know, a heart that's willing to change, He's going to hear you. And hopefully we'll make more of these. This is just to see how this goes. And we'll go from there. I thank you for watching and God bless.